here I'm just looking at my hair and I'm just wondering like do I really want to put a wig on this because I, I have really fallen in love with my TWA <laughs> but anyhow I decided to go ahead and put my wig cap on here and as I was putting it on I noticed how like the sides were down I look like George Jefferson from the show the Jeffersons So I decided to do my little George Jefferson dance. Yes. Hey. <laughs> All right, so we have a lot of hair here <laughs> with this Tatiana wig. And I actually wore this wig in one of my um, fashion videos. I believe it was a duplicate video. And um, I'll put the link below so you can see how it looked with that style. It actually was perfect with that. But we're going to create something different with this wig this time in this video. So now I am blow drying my hair just to thin it out before I brush out the crinkles that are in the style itself. And I know you might be wondering like why don't you just brush it out instead of going through the trouble of flat iron. I tried that at first and it was just, oh, it was it was hard because it's so much hair is so big. So when I thinned it out, you know, it was easier. Now look at there, it, it comes right back out, but it's easier to brush when it's thinner. All right, that it just works for me. It was just, oh, it took forever just brushing it originally. So again, I blow dry it just to thin it out to make it easier to brush out and voila. I've just finished brushing it out and we have here a beautiful afro, long afro. I love this look even just like that. I almost did not want to flat iron the hair because I wanted to rock it. Oh, we got HD ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Actually, I just wiped my camera down. Now here, I'm going to put this side into three different sections so it will be easier for me to flat iron the hair. See there I put it in three sections. And then I'm going to put the other two, the back two sections all together with the other side just to move that hair out of the way for the flat ironing process. Now I just leave some hair down, the hair that I'm actually going to flat iron and pin the rest up in that first section there. A little bit later on in the video I'm going to show you a process that I came up with to be easier to um, flat iron with because I, this is my very first time flat ironing synthetic hair like this. You can see this stuff is like rough and tough, but I am just gonna wait until later when I show you exactly the method that worked for me as I kept flat ironing it. <laughs> you don't wanna keep flat ironing section over and over because you might create a bad habit with your natural hair because we don't wanna do that with your natural hair. You wanna get, you know, hair damage, heat damage rather, from that. So let's look and see how it's going to look with everything flat ironed on one side. And there you go, you can see where it looks so realistic all of the density, all of that thickness, fullness, it has simmered down, but it looks natural. It's still a beautiful natural density of hair on that side. It's really beautiful, as you can see there. Now we're gonna tackle the other side. Since I did a part on a side, I had more hair on this side, so I put this section of hair, well, this side of hair into four sections.
Okay, so and see the hair is in four sections. Now here I'm gonna show you the method that I came up with that actually works. What I do first is brush out the tangles and knots. So in that way I only have to flat iron that section of hair one good time if I do that well. Okay, now watch this, I'm gonna stick it, slide, stick it, slide, stick it, slide, and so forth. When I let it stay stuck, it's heating up that section of hair and then I slide it to the next section. And by doing it this way, I only have to do that process one time. And it saves so much time doing it that way. See there? And I just brush through it again and make sure that there aren't any more tangles. Now you see that part there where from the band, I just brushed that out. It comes right out as you can see there. It's very slight that you see it still. Kind of like your real hair. <laughs> and then I just brush it all together and you can see there is so pretty. On my Instagram, I think some people really thought that my, <laughs> that was my hair. Cause I put on their flat iron as a hashtag and I think they thought that that is my natural hair that I flat iron. Now here I'm curling it with hot rollers and these suckers are hot, <laughs> but they get the job done. I'm just showing you. Me. After 15 minutes, I march back into the bathroom and <laughs> go ahead and finish the process up. Now you notice I have a towel on my neck because those hot rollers, they, they can burn the back of your neck. So you might want to put something there to protect your neck from that heat. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> so when you unravel the hair, you see how I do it? I do it like that, kind of roll it around just to keep the curls in and voila, look at that. Beautiful curls, which we're going to kind of sort out as you can see here. I broke each curl up a little bit more just to add some more volume to the hair. As you can see, I have beautiful results. And this look is very similar to a tutorial that I did in December, but I didn't flat iron the hair that time. And it was a crochet braiding hair, the same kind of hair, but in crochet braiding. But I am loving this look as it is flat iron. It has more gloss to it, more shine to it. It's just really pretty. So if you like this video, be sure to click like, be sure to share it, and be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can see other ways how you can save money and look beautiful at the same time. So you guys be blessed.